Hey, welcome back, my scrubs, to Storyteller. It's like the, the most drama-filled game I've ever played in my life. I'm really enjoying, you know, playing this game. So yeah, let's continue on. And if this is your first time watching, you'll see really quick that this is a very oh, drama-filled game. Deaths. Four deaths. There's only two people. Well, you're gonna be on a cliff. Okay. <laughs> So he doesn't want to push him off, but he wants to push him off. All right, so last episode, we realized that emotions are that people act differently. You know, I guess I could have figured that out on my own, but the game doesn't really tell you that. But you can kind of see, oh yeah, Baron's kind of evil looking and he, well, he seems pretty innocent. I could be wrong though. He might cheat on him. <laughs> they might be in a relationship. I don't know. But four deaths? How do you, oh, I don't understand. What, what do you want me to do? Oh, I see. Oh, the revive. Okay, that explains it all. Also, a lot of you guys keep saying I'm <laughs> very frustrated with me playing. I'm so sorry to have ruined your day. I know I'm stupid. I'm trying to deal with it. Okay, so he died. So I guess what we would do is revive him, right? Oh, okay. So he didn't want to push him off, but now that he got... <laughs> So now that he pushes him off, now he wants to kill him because he's like, okay, I'm getting revenge. So obviously we would want to revive him once again. So what, what's he going to do now? Be sorry? No, no, they <laughs> sort of keep doing it. All right, we've seemed to have started a feud that'll go on forever. Oh, I accidentally turned him to a ghost. Whoopsie. He's scared, but he's still going to die. Well, listen, they never said I had to kill four different people. So maybe we just need to keep her uh, doing the same one. Oh, okay. The ghost can scare him off. Well, there we go. The queen is rescued. Rescue. Okay, so we got to put the queen in danger. Okay. Well, obviously the knight is going to uh, rescue the queen. Wait, wedding? That's got to come at the end. Oh, that was extremely easy. <laughs> Oh, and married. So what we do another kidnap and we just do go we just go barren and then Wow, that was extremely easy. There we go. He they love each other. I guess it doesn't matter. Everyone sits on the throne. So, I mean some of these I will say they are very easy, but some of them you gotta think a little more. Okay, everybody sits on the throne. Sounds extremely easy. So we need three thrones. He doesn't want to sit on the throne. Why not? How do I get him to sit on the throne? Oh, I see. Only one person gets it on the throne. So, uh, it looks like Baron's gonna have to push the queen off a cliff. She's not the queen anymore. Now, Baron, obviously that's how it works. You push the queen off a cliff, you get to sit on the throne. The chair. <laughs> there we go. Wait. Oh, he can't do it because he's the knight. Well, but the, oh, but the queen can do it. Well, that was easy. See, uh, some of these are really easy. Usurper is forgiven. Usurper? That's like, oh, it's a dog. What the heck does this dog have to do with this? <laughs> the dog is kidnapping the queen. You're, she's a monster. She didn't deserve to be queen. Wait, can we make the dog? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, we did it. That's all that matters, I guess. Sometimes when I'm messing around with it, I just accidentally figure it out. The dog was a bad dog. The dog just wanted to be a queen, a king for a day. And then it went back to normal. Everything is forgiven. I see. The queen marries. Queen is getting married to evil Baron, even though he killed her. Okay. Oh, so she don't want to marry him. I get it. So he needs to disguise himself as a dragon because she loves dragons, clearly. Oh, I think I already see what's going on. She needs to be kidnapped by the dragon, but she doesn't know it's him, but he's going to save the day. Oh, I see. So we need to take off the disguise. And voila, he saved the day. So they get married. Easy, too easy. All right, hey, th those ones were secrets. way too easy. Okay, secrets. Red-handed thief, revenge and sports. Murderer gets arrested. Oh, no, not the detective again. Okay, so he, he shot him. <laughs> the detective obviously needs to question the butler, right? But the witness is a ghost. Wait, what do we use witness for? I'm, I'm just confused. I, I'm just, I'm very confused by this picture. What, what am I staring at? Why is it old and there's a bunch of cobwebs? How does that mean witness? Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I didn't realize he was looking through the picture. Oh, okay. I was like, how in the world does this mean witness? Now it makes sense. <laughs> but again, I actually, no, I totally solved that with my brain. Butler. 
gets fired. Oh, do we need we need a witness now too? Okay, so they oh I see. So this is very obvious actually. So we need a witness. Oh, okay, see I all right. It all it's I can't believe how much sense it makes now. Oh, okay, I see. We have oh see? Alright. So we had to have him get the gun first. Bam, he's witnessing. He's like, wait a minute, what are you doing with that gun? And then he needs to be confronted. Oh! <laughs> Alright, that's not a good idea. Don't do that. Okay, he needs to put the gun away. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. I saw what you did. Spouse gets vengeance. Okay, okay. Okay, so he... I see. Okay, so we need a witness. So she needs to get a revenge on this. Butler puts the gun back. She grabs the gun. These are just so easy now. What the heck? Honestly, they're like way too easy. Duchess gets murderer arrested. Okay. Well, the butler is the only one that can murder, I think. All right, so the detective needs to question the butler. She's still watching for some reason. And then she needs to talk to the detective. I I'm just, I'm too good. Oh, wait, but the Duke isn't home? What? Wait, who needs to get... Wait. But Duke isn't home. So we need to do this without him? I guess it, would, it wouldn't change anything, right? She still saw him with a gun, but I guess it's not proof. How does that change anything? I feel like it's pretty obvious, right? The only way to get him arrested, he has to do something wrong. And the only thing wrong that he can do is grab the gun. So he has to put it back. Then they need to talk about it, but he also needs to check for fingerprints. Oh God. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so she, I was like, what do we do here? Cause like he can't check for fingerprints cause he didn't technically do anything wrong or something, but she had to die for him to prove because like, oh, so she, so he knew that she, she told him, oh, he has a gun. But uh, obviously that was proof when she died. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, something's going on here. Okay, that was that was probably the challenging one, the most challenging one we've dealt with so far. Usurper dies. Oh, someone's getting the guillotine. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> that seems pretty straightforward to me, right? He got she she got saved and now she's queen again. Oh, okay. I just wasn't doing it. Wait, by the hand of the night? Oh, come on. Dang it. Why do you got to throw these things in there? I keep solving it. Then they wants me to do one more thing. But he doesn't want to be king. Oh, I think we need to kill the queen. I get it. Okay. Yeah, see, he wants revenge now. Oh, we don't actually need this one, do we? No, we don't. He is now... Okay, yeah, it all makes sense now. Okay. All right. Well, pretty easy once you understand it. Knight loses his head. Oh no, what did he do? Oh, we have revive? What the heck do we have to revive for? Okay, what if we make- she de she's dead already, but she's gonna get revived. Oh, she's mad at him because- oh, it's not- it's not his fault! He didn't know you were gonna get revived by the Dragon Balls, so that she has him executed. Okay. Oh, but she can't do that because she's not queen yet. Does she need to kidnap him? <gasps> Well, this don't seem fair at all. Oh, wait. I have to have her sit on the throne, though. Oh, well, okay. So she didn't need to see that her crown was missing to know that she wasn't queen anymore. Okay. The execution. Oh, my God. So much death. So the only two people that are here to get married. Oh, she does not want to have any part of that. What if she has amnesia? <laughs> no, that didn't work. Poor Baron. Okay, he's jealous. He's mad. That he didn't want to marry her, so he kidnaps her. Oh, but if you give her amnesia while she's kidnapped, he can save the day, right? I don't know. Wait, this is not even... <laughs> I'm turning this into a good story for for him. Oh, I think it's actually working, though. Something. Okay, so I made it to where they can get married, but... <laughs> when does the execution come in? Oh, I just realized... Oh, she forgot that she was the queen. Wait a minute. Baron, no. No, Baron. Don't tell- Oh my god, Baron, why you do it? The execute- Actually, I, I did it like the hard way, actually. I just thought, hey, what happens if we do this? Uh, okay, interesting. Okay, so he kidnaps her, but he forgets that he did it. And he's gonna rescue her. Then she's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Like, he thinks he's doing something good. <laughs> wow, okay. Pretty easy. That one was way easier. Queen beheads all. Men. Well, she is very mean. She only loves herself. What the heck? She's so mean. Okay. 
Why would she want to do that? Okay, so we need to make her hate everybody. How? Uh, this is confusing because I don't know how to make the knight hate her. Or the other way around. Okay, so I can get her to... <laughs> oh, so confused. So I gotta go through all these steps to make her hate him. Ugh. Oh. This one is confusing me. Okay, yeah, I, I get I gave up on this one. This one was probably the hardest one. So I I gotta see this one for myself. So she gets revived. Oh, I was actually onto it though. Wait a minute. Oh, they have to get married. What? So once she's revived, they can get married and I guess become queen and king? Oh my god. I was like, when does the wedding come in? But you can see she's still not very happy about this wedding. He is though. This one, this one took some real thinking, and obviously, I was not capable of that. So, to get revenge, she executes them both. She is very evil. He literally did nothing wrong. She's a spiteful queen. That one got me. Oh god, we're going back to the beginning, huh? Oh, why is it getting creepy now? Judgment? They're judging me, why? Don't touch the apple. <laughs> Eve says, I'm- nah. <laughs> nah, let's just go ahead and eat that apple. She just freaking apples, man. <laughs> oh my, okay. <laughs> Is that don't eat it? Oh, she has to reject it, I see. Wait, oh dang, how do you get her to reject the apple? Oh, <laughs> what? I am confused. What has happened here? Oh, now she got, okay, so she now she got him to eat the apple. Actually, I don't remember, I don't remember how it goes, man. I read it and I don't remember. Who ate the apple? It was Eve, wasn't it? She's like, let's make an apple pie. Oh, we got them both to eat an apple. They both... <laughs> How do you get her to reject the apple? Oh, if she sees him... Oh, my God. That was so easy. I'm so stupid. You're right. I agree with you guys. All right, guys. We're going to end it there. Well, I think we can do probably one more episode. Today's group of the day goes to...